Okay, just a review on how to graph and find the amplitude, the period and radians, the phase shift and radians, and then graph it using radians. Well, the first thing I want you to do is probably label or have an idea over to the right uh, which is which. So the amplitude is this number that's attached to, in, to the left of the trig function. That's the A value, and then I just put A is equal to 1 half. And then the B value is what impacts the period change. The K value is going to be the horizontal shift. Phase shift is the horizontal shift. And this number impacts that. C is the vertical shift. So the first thing that I want you to do, no, notice what I did. I did this um, kind of light invisible graph. Oh, and it looks like... I didn't get it all the way. There you go. So I'm going to lock that in. All right. That is what the original period is between 0 and 2 by that pi. That is what the normal sine graph looks like. So when we figure out the period change, is the, is the cycle going to be longer than that or shorter? So we take 2 pi. Whoops. I need to put that back to solid. And we d divide it by the absolute value of b. Well, b in this case is 4. Absolute value of 4 is 4. 2 over 4 is the same as pi halves. So now, this entire graph right here, instead of it be being between 0 and 2 pi, it's now between 0 and pi halves. So I'm going to take this part right there, and I'm going to mark that endpoint right there and 0 is still 0, and then halfway between 0 and 2 pi is pi, pi is also at 0, well halfway between 0 and pi halves is pi fourths, and that's also at 0. And then notice between halfway between 0 and pi, we, we are up here at 1, so between 0 and pi fourths, at pi eighths, we're at 1, and between pi fourths and pi halves, we're going to be down at negative 1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that original right there. All right, we just took care of the period change. So now I'm going to take care of the amplitude. So we just have to multiply all of those values by 1 half, because that's what it says to do. Well, 1 half of 0 is 0, so I'm going to put a solid red dot. Well, 1 half of 1 is 1 half. So about halfway, I'm going to put a dot. 1 half of 0 is 0, 1 half of negative 1 is negative 1 half, and 1 half of 0 is 0. So now I'm going to erase those x's that I don't need. All right, so now we just took care of the amplitude. Now we're going to have to do the vertical shift, and the vertical shift says move all of these things up two places. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to move it up two places. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then I can erase all of that red stuff. And we just took care of that vertical shift. And then finally, we're going to do the phase shift. And the phase shift says that you... You take the opposite of k. Well, k is 3 fourths, so I'm going to take the opposite of 3 pi fourths and divide it by the b value, which is 4 or 4 over 1. So to cancel the denominator, I'm going to multiply by 1 fourth. If I do that, I'm going to multiply by 1 fourth up here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the left, 3 pi sixteenths which is a really, really small amount. So this is going to be the interesting thing on here. We're going to go to the left. To put in perspective, 4 pi sixteenths is the same thing as pi fourths, and pi fourths is almost one square. Well, we're going to, I guess we're going to go almost one full square. So I'm going to start at the very right, and I'm going to go almost and I'll put a blue dot. Let me go over here. 
I'm going to put a blue dot, and I'm going to go three-fourths of the way, 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 and then I'm going to erase the, whoops, sorry about that. I'm going to erase those black X's, and then voila, we have, and then you can just keep that going to indicate you understand that's what's happening with a sign graph. That's it.